This was question number 13 in the KCP for the year 2018. And we are told that a pupil left home for school at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour and returned at a speed of 4 kilometers per hour. The whole journey took 5 hours and 24 minutes. How far is the school from home in kilometers? Let us begin. The pupil started the journey from home to school. And this pupil was traveling at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour. This one we are going to denote it as S1. The same people traveled from school back home at a speed of 4 kilometers per hour. Again, this one we shall denote it as S2. The total time taken going from home to school and back was 5 hours and 24 minutes. And this is equivalent to 5 and 2 fifths of an hour. We are getting 2 fifths by getting the fraction of 24 minutes of an hour. That is, you take 24, you divide by 60, and you simplify that one. Now, let us assume D to be the distance from home to school in kilometers. And this distance is the same when going back from school to home. We need to remember that speed is equal to distance covered over the time taken, which is equal to, or rather, T is equal to D over S. We are given S1, that is speed 1, which is 5 kilometers per hour, and we are also given S2, which is speed 2, that was 4 kilometers per hour. The total time taken to and from school was equals to 5 and 2 fifths of an hour. T1 is the time from home to school. And T2 is time from school back home. Now the total time taken to and from school should therefore be equals to time 1 plus time 2. That is T1 plus T2. And this will give us now the total time taken, which was 5 and 2 fifths. Now, time 1 can be obtained by taking the distance from home to school. We divide that one by the speed, which is S1. And time 2 can be obtained by taking the distance from school back home we divide that one by S2, which was speed 2. Then, the total time taken should therefore be equivalent to distance over speed 1 plus distance over speed 2, which should be equal to 5 and 2 fifths. We need to, uh, to replace or to substitute S1 and S2 because the two speeds are given. Therefore, distance over S1, which is over 5, we add to distance over S2, that is distance over 4, which will now be equivalent to 5 and 2 fifths. This can be added just like any other fraction with an unknown by getting the LCM of 5 and 4. And the LCM in this case is 20. If you take 20, you divide by 5, which is 4, and then you multiply by D, you'll get 4D. And if you take 20, you divide by 4, multiply by D, you are going to get 5D. And this one now will give us 5 and 2 fifths. Now, if you add 4D plus 5D, you should get 9D over 20. And this is now equivalent to 27 over 5 after you convert 5 and 2 fifths into an improper fraction. 
you need to cross multiply 20 on both sides so that you eliminate this 20 here. So if you multiply by 20 on your left, add 20 on your right, you will have eliminated the denominator 20. And after you simplify on your left side, you will be left with 9D. And if you simplify onto the right side, you will be left with 27 multiplied by 4. That is 9D should be now should now be equals to 27 multiplied by 4 which is 108 now 90 which is equals to 108 we can now uh, remove 9 by dividing by 9 on both sides so that we make d to be the subject of our expression and once you simplify on your left side, you will be left with D. And on your right side, you will be left with 12. And this time, you have obtained D to be equals to 12 kilometers. Remember, this is now the distance from home to school or from school back home. And therefore, in this case, the candidate was supposed to select 12 as the answer.